Hey yo, what's cracking, man? It's your boy Z. Get back at it with another interview video for y'all today. And today I sat down with my boy Rick Tensai, and we talked about his favorite artists. We talked about the things he struggled with as being an independent artist, his new and upcoming projects, and even some merch in the works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the interview, hit the like button. And don't forget to remember, if you ain't up to it and you ain't down to it, then what you gonna do with it? Get into it, man. No sure. dope boy, never so rock. Still the dopest one to come on my block. Inside. Yes. <laughs> Different name, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So how did you get that? Um, honestly, it kind of just came randomly. There's no like real story behind it or anything like that. Um, it was an episode of Naruto. I was okay, watching, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, and I heard the word and I was like, I don't know, it just like stood out to me. Right. And so I like looked up what it meant and everything, and it's a uh, Japanese for genius. So I was like, That's okay, dope. like, all right, let me see a little, put that on the on the end, and my Rick is at the end of my name, so okay. I just kind of like put Rick and put That's it together. That's dope. Yeah, so, Tensai, genius. I'm yeah, thinking like just, Tensai, <laughs> Sensei, yeah. Sensei, you know what I'm saying? And my cousin, too, he was always like, uh, because he was always saying like, oh, you think you're smart, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, just, yeah, just the way, I, yeah, the, way, <laughs> the way I was with him, so. I mean, it just kind of fits. So. All right, that's dope. So, <laughs> hey, when did you start music, man? Um, Taking it seriously, it's been about like two and a half years now. Two and a half years? Three years, yeah. Okay, that's dope. That's about the same yeah. as asking when I yeah, did it. Yeah, So yeah. that's dope. I mean, I've been doing it for a little while. So, like in high school, I would mess around. I dropped like one song. Yeah? Yeah, everybody, you know. Everybody would come up to me and like, do hey, that was dope. But I don't really know how to like take the... Like the attention, I guess you right. could say, because in high school I was still kind of like right. introvert a little okay, bit. Okay, so cool, cool. I kind of just stopped after that, but See, that's, after high school. That's where you say that you're an introvert. Yeah, I mean, usually. I wouldn't, I would never guess that because yeah. the way you approach me <laughs> and then the way you yeah. talk to me today it was just yeah. kind of like what? Yeah, okay. Especially, especially back in the day, like I don't know, it was kind of like a little confidence thing. I okay. kind of kept to myself, but. That's kind of like how music like right. got to me because I could just write something. You know what I mean? That's dope. Talk you let the music way. speak for you. Yeah. Cool. Sure. That's dope. So then that just took away the introvert, the shyness, and the everything for you. Yeah, it it, uh, it gave me confidence for sure. Yeah. Especially like when I started putting stuff out there <laughs> and like doing these shows here and there. Yeah. So, you know, so what helped out? So what's your musical influences, man? Um. Honestly, there's a lot. Um, Go ahead and list them. Let's do it. I'm down. <laughs> uh, the biggest one for sure is probably Kanye. Yeah, okay. You know, what he does, like, sonically, like, something always different. Like, nothing's right. ever really the same for him. And I kind of, like, admire that. Cause, That's dope. Uh, you know, with my music, I kind of, like, I have a lot of things that I listen to. So I kind of, yeah. like, want to infuse those. You know what I mean? Yeah. I want to be, like, boxed into just one sound. Exactly. So I definitely look up to Kanye a lot. Um, I listen to a lot of classical rock, honestly. That's like, dope. Uh, you know, Van Halen. Yep, uh, okay. The Cars, kind of like an 80s band. Alright. Like, yeah, it's just pretty much everything, bro. That's like, real dope. Whatever sounds good. That's <laughs> dope. So, what's your favorite Kanye album, man? Come out. Kanye album favorite has to be Graduation. Right, just cause cool, it's, cool, <laughs> cool. Just because it's a little... Yeah, <laughs> just it's uh, sentimental to me. Like, right. I think I was like about 12, I want to say. Okay. Like, 10 to 12 range. And, uh... I bought that was like the first physical album like I bought with my own money and That's everything. Dope. So yeah, I was like playing that thing constantly. So favorite so. song off the album? Uh, favorite song has to be Good Morning. Honestly. Good morning, yeah. yeah. That's the best. It's hard to beat. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Start off your day with that song. Yeah, yeah, you just feel sure. good yeah, like yeah, that one. Good. I actually I made a. Uh, uh, my senior year, uh -huh. I convinced everybody to like, hey, pick this song for like our, uh, you know, our class song. Yeah. So just because like the message on it. Exactly. So ended up happening, so I was like, yeah, I was word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. So, hey, in one of your lines, man, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get straight into your music because I was listening to your SoundCloud. Yeah. You have four projects, four tracks on four that tracks, right there. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it was a lot, you have a lot of, you know. Yeah, a lot of stuff coming for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, I got a. Two tracks on uh, like Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. I checked that out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you big on? Are you doing Spotify? Just strictly Spotify? Um, or are you just... I'm trying to. Okay, yeah. cool. I just recently dropped a song with ASCII, as a matter of fact. Chokehold. Uh, Chokehold. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I listened to that one so, up though. Um, yeah, it was kind of like a. I was getting impatient, honestly. Yeah. Like, so I wanted to drop something, uh, and I was like, let's just drop it since it's like that. Exactly. Fuck so, it, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. So in the in Chokehold, man, you say drop my ass out of college. So this was my only option. Yeah. So. You were in college for a little bit, I'm assuming, because yeah. the line. So, yeah. what college did you go to? Um, what was the... I went to Pima for uh, a 
couple semesters. Okay. And, um, I was initially going for journalism. Okay, that's dope. Um, but it's it just, I don't know what it was. Like, I just yeah. didn't feel like, like it was for me. Right. Like, there, just too much, like, structure, I guess. Like, okay. Like, you know, having to do some, some stuff that it wasn't even really, like, for journalism. Like, right. it kind of turned me off because, like, you got to do, like, the prerequisites. Exactly. All that stuff, so. I mean, just the time aspect and, like, especially when I started, like, really doing music. Like, I felt like it was just taking time away from me, you know right. what I mean? So, and you know just some of the some of the professors out there okay yeah yeah i'll do <laughs> it, it to just, you man yeah, if teachers can't just, teach then yeah. like what's the point you know what it I mean? just kind of turned me away and then a lot of it was like online type right. stuff, so i was just like i might as well not even like be going yeah. Yeah, that's dope that's a good yeah. decision so i mean yeah, for you I mean, yeah yeah <laughs> but um what did your family think about it i mean um honestly they still are pushing me to like go back to okay school. but it, i mean they're pretty supportive with the decision Mainly now, it's just like as long as, long as I'm doing something, you right? Know what I mean, and I'm not just like just being a bum type, exactly. Shit, like, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, honestly, it is something like I do think about like right. going back at some point, but right now, it's just it's not for me. Just in go mode, yeah. right? Yeah. Music, so I mean, why exactly. stop if you got momentum, right? Exactly, exactly. That's dope, man. So, um, what's it like being an independent artist here in Tucson? I mean, what kind of <laughs> difficulties do you face? What what are some strengths, you know, here in Tucson? Yeah, um, as far as Tucson goes, I feel like now more than ever, I feel like it's honestly a better, better environment. Like right. the, with the people coming up we got now, you know, like ASCII, 95, shout out 95. Um, you know, we just got a lot of artists right now and I feel like um, it's like, breeding better music and it's getting a little easier it's still not like super easy especially exactly. being like a small town but i feel like like the reaching out aspect is yeah. making things easier to get done you know exactly. what I mean? and, um, like just it's, even back like a few years ago i feel like this scene like people that were doing music like they weren't really like knowing each other you know what right. i mean like it was kind of like it's real selfish okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah but i feel like now that's shifted like heavily right and it's making things a little bit easier you know you really don't need anybody besides yourself especially exactly. with the internet now so right you know everybody's just sort of figuring that out and, exactly you know it's, it's a good so thing. all those rappers out there man there's no excuse for you not to be putting shit out I mean, exactly like, <laughs> we got the internet at your fingertips man Exactly. So we talk, you talk about ASCII 95. So how did you come into contact with those? I mean, you're reaching out, of course, but yeah. like, how's that bond? And um, honestly, ASCII kind of just happened. Uh, I was at my recording at my boy's house, uh, Darren. Shout out Darren too. Um, and it was something I believe he hit up ASCII like, hey, come to the studio. You know, I got we had a little setup over there. So you know, we're just trying to like you know branch out, you know, reach out to people. Um, he ended up coming through, and like that first night, it was like you know just a, like a organic, bond, you know, yeah, organic. Thing. Like we fucked with each other. We ended up making like a few tracks just like that night oh, that's too. Dope. So yeah, it was, you know, it was real organic, like really solid dude. So uh, that's kind of how that happened. And then and just as I started making more music, you know, I met other people and you know, just kind of like exactly. in the scene. So that's real though. Yeah. So during your rise, and so I mean, you're still grinding and everything. Do you yeah. experience hate? I mean, like, yeah. I mean, really? it, there's always, you know, some people that will tell you like not to do something. Of course. You know what I mean? Um, it hasn't honestly been like too bad. Like, yeah. Um, but there's always people, you know, like, oh, you're you're trying. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, you're never gonna make it out. Like, there's always that, and you, know, you kind of just gotta. Learn how to shield it away you right. know, and not let it distract you. Um, but I feel like it's been getting like more and more like prominent. Like, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of love. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, of but, course. Like, just seeing like been doing more and more lately. So you know, obviously that's gonna bring you know of more course. people, the naysayers and stuff like that. But you know, for the most part, it is love. You know, like I said. Um, it's kind of that culture's kind of shifted, so right. there's a lot more love, but there's always, you know, people that. So how do you deal with that? Hey, I mean, do you just ignore it and like, okay, mm -hmm. like whatever? But well, it's kind of, you know, it's in your face, so you okay. can't really ignoring it. Right. You know, I hate people that like, oh no, just ignore it. Right. Like, obviously, you're gonna hear it. But exactly. It's really just how you like deal with like hearing it. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, if you're doing something, it doesn't matter what it is. Like right. people are gonna try to stop you and exactly. you down, but. 
Yeah, you just gotta kind of take it with a grain of salt. There you go. Just keep it pushing. Yeah, that's dope to hear. So, for someone who hasn't heard your music, how would you describe your sound, your flow? Mm -hmm. I mean, who would you compare yourself to? Even though I don't like comparing <laughs> artists yeah, to yeah, other yeah, artists. Yeah. Um, honestly, the sound is just something like. You said the 80s influence, so yeah, I, mean, I hear a little bit. Yeah, just trying to, you know, mix stuff that I like to hear right. into it somehow, some way. You know, it might not be as prominent. Um, but the main thing, like, when I'm making a song is, like, really asking myself, like, okay, is this something, like, I would listen to right. in the car, you know, like, exactly. with the windows down and shit, like, so I guess as far as that, like, that really drives how my sound is, but um, it really just depends on how I'm feeling. Like, I'll make tracks that sound completely different from one that I recorded even, like, a day or two before that. Right. So, you know, it's, um... Honestly, it's just yeah, whatever I'm feeling. So I'll say the diverse. I mean, yeah, you're, diversity, you're, you're diverse, yeah, yeah. diverse, diversified. Damn, yeah. I can speak, right? <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, that's dope. So I mean, yeah. you do a lot of concert, a lot of shows here in town. Yeah. So I mean, I want to know how your first gig was was like. I mean, where did you start? I mean, how did yeah. you Uh, the first show I ever did was actually at Tool. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was for, we were opening up for Lil Wap. Okay. Uh, Lil Xan, it's actually a funny story, my first show. Go ahead, tell us. <laughs> Lil Xan was supposed to be on the bill, like he was gonna be the right. headliner in Lil Wap, um, and like a few other people. Um, but we were opening up for them. Uh, it was me and Askey were doing the same, um, same show. Um, you know, so we did our thing. It was kind of, I was nervous, you know what I right. mean? Like it was uh, butterflies, especially being, it was a bigger crowd for yeah. like, my oh, first yeah. show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, once I got up there and like, said my first couple lines, and right. the butterflies just kind of kind of went away. Luckily, I didn't like choke my mic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it, it was a good show, but uh, Lil Xan was supposed to be the headliner. And like that day, the promoter was like, tripping like stressed out because yeah. i guess he had canceled like last minute and was doing a show in la instead uh -huh. and so like there was like a whole like time slot and right. everything that was just like unaccounted for exactly so, like, the promoter was like stressing man lil wap wasn't even in town like what? yeah like uh he flew into sky harbor in okay. Phoenix instead of like uh, see, yeah okay. CIA. and um so there was, it was just like Kind of chaos, like right. yeah, yeah, I <laughs> can imagine. Like to send somebody to go get them, it was like everybody was getting restless. Like yeah. they, were, they were asking, even like me or like the DJ uh, that we had, shout out Shams, uh, like anybody that was walking up on stage, like they right. were asking, like where's Lil Wap? Like exactly. and so they were like scrambling to go get them. Somebody had to end up going to Phoenix to pick them up, drive them down. He ended up being like three hours late. For oh the damn! Show. Yeah. People stay that long? Yeah, there, well, <laughs> some left, like okay. a lot left, but I guess like his, his truer just, fans right, like, yeah, yeah. Were, were staying around, but uh, my DJ Shams was supposed to end up DJing for him also, uh -huh. but he, you know, we were waiting like, yeah. forever, so we ended up just packing up and just, dip. just dipping out. But, so you just yeah. watched that? I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's cool, it's cool. Yeah. You do your set, you do your thing, yeah. everybody knew you were. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're in the works in the, of a few projects, right? Yeah, a couple couple EPs. Couple right, EPs. Oh, a couple EPs? Okay, yeah. cool. I was, I was going to ask you. So EPs, music videos? Uh, Yes, music okay. videos coming That'd be dope. for sure. So be in. what can we hear from this EP, man? <laughs> Uh, this or these fuse. Yeah, yeah, this first one, um, I want to focus on like dropping something that everybody will like. You okay, know yeah, I mean? yeah. Um, at the same time, like something that I like too. Of course. Not, you know, just to please people. But yeah. um, I wanted to kind of uh, insert myself like uh, with something that'll be easily, you know, remembered, easily remembered, easily received. You know, right, what I mean? not exactly. something too, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, too intricate or something. Right. But, uh, Mainly like harder hitting beats, okay, um, but still like that that influence, that sound that I like. like yeah, it's not not too like, trap heavy. Exactly. Guess, okay. You say, but something you could just you know ride, ride the whip, the whip too. too. Yeah. There you go. Really the eight oh eights kick in. And, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. That but still, kick. you know, the content was still right. There. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Not not selling the bar short or anything. But so, any futures on there? Are we gonna hear from? Are you gonna drop? <laughs> wanna drop some names? Or you just wanna keep it low key for um, a minute? Honestly, as far as features, at the moment, I wanna keep it just me. Okay. Uh, especially for the first. Oh yeah, that'd be real you know, dope. Yeah, yeah, just keep it, keep it all me. Um, but 
as it goes on, it might be some track that I want to get somebody yeah, else. Right. You never know. Um, but definitely with the second uh, second EP, um, I'm planning on getting some some features there. I'll be dope. A little bit bigger names, but yeah, oh, yeah. I'll keep that on the so, down low right now. Anybody producing that we may know, or um, you're gonna be Chris. Chris. Account by Chris. All right, Chris cool. Of course. Some production Shout on out there. Chris one time, man. Yeah, I heard good sure. things about him. Yeah, he's. His beats are crazy, like he's killing the game right now. That's dope. Um, Counted by Chris will be on there. Um, Cangelosi, um, he's out in Chicago. Okay. Uh, I linked up with him uh, just through an artist that I like listening to. So I reached out. Who's the artist? Uh, Kari. Okay, shout out Kari. Yeah, one time. shout out Kari one time. <laughs> uh, from Chicago also. But yeah, he'll have some production on there. So That's it's kind of just. Uh, Half and half, I guess you could say. That's it's not crazy. Be you said you said Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. And we based out of Tucson. Yeah. That's it. There's yeah. no excuse for y'all not to be putting in work. Yeah, Come on. Internet, <laughs> bro, That's you crazy. Yeah. That's real dope. But yeah, the Chicago scene right now, I feel like it's something that is just crazy to oh, me. Like, oh I yeah. Really, yeah, I'm really fucking with the sounds that are coming out of there. And it's diverse too. So it is. I, I really like look to that just because you know the exactly. sound. Uh, I try to not do the same thing right. too often. But the influence is there yeah, too. I mean. So, I mean, reaching out to artists, I actually, uh, one of my first like official, official songs, I guess uh, you could say, uh, we had Mick Jenkins okay. on the track uh, from Chicago also. That's dope so as hell. Since then, you know, I, it kind of opened my eyes. Like, it's easy to reach right. out to people, you know what I mean? Exactly. So I just, you know, kind of kept that. That's real dope. Yeah. So you said you fuck with the, the Chi Town scene. Yeah, How about yeah. Atlanta? How you feel about the Atlanta scene? I mean, Atlanta's crazy too. It honestly. is. Atlanta's um, popping. Definitely some some artists I fuck with coming out of there. Um, you know, obviously Migos are like the biggest. Oh yeah. Ever probably to definitely. Come out. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of the same thing. There's a lot of diversity coming out. Um, yeah. Mainly mainly heavy trap shit too. Exactly. Uh, that's definitely want to work with some people from Atlanta. But same thing, the scene out there is crazy also. That's just, I agree. It's yeah. really, <laughs> it's really popping out there. Yeah. So what um, what music videos are you planning to shoot for? Like, I mean, what songs can we, maybe for the new EP coming out or? Definitely. Um, maybe the older chokehold track. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> that, that could be one. I have to get an ask you that. Scene, right. <laughs> SD Visions, come on, man. Yeah, Holla. Shout out SD. Uh, we do have one with SD, as a matter of okay, fact, that's though, dope. that we're going to be shooting next month or the month after that. I'm okay. not sure. I have to check, right, right, right. check on that. Um, but yeah, it's for a track that we haven't released yet uh, titled Invite Only. Okay. So it's me and Aski on that one, too. But yeah, we got a visual coming for that. And then. Uh, as far as like for tracks off the EP once it drops, you know, of definitely course. gonna be tapping. You're going hard. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So that EP gonna drop sometime this summer. We can expect yes. it. Okay. Cool. Uh, sometime this summer, hopefully. Okay. If all goes well. Um, but I'm kind of like a perfectionist. Right. To a fault sometimes. So. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you wanna put out work? Yeah. Uh, Quality work. Yeah, exactly. Definitely sometime this year. That's okay. dope. So I mean, I look on your Twitter. I mean, there's some some merch in the work. Yeah, some I, I just I just dropped a quick little batch of merch. Okay, let's um, go. I wasn't even planning on doing that right. yet, honestly, just because I wanted to get out, you know, the projects, everything, yeah. uh, see how that's been received. But um, and we're still here with Rick Tensai. Yes, and we out here yes, doing sir. it big. So you know, we got his tips on what to do if you want to be an artist. We gotta know his his uh, favorite. Artist was the Kanye West. Yeah. You gotta know he got some 80 flavor to himself. Yeah, so yeah. and he got an EP dropping this summer. Hopefully, yeah, if he doesn't get, you know, Pushed everything back. goes well. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I mean, let's ask some good. Let's ask some fun questions, man. For so sure. NBA Finals coming up. I mean, yeah. who you who you got, man? We got the Warriors going to the Western Finals. So yeah, honestly, I didn't even want to see them going to the Western Me Finals. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> I mean, no shade to any. Uh, you know, Warriors fans. Nah, Warrior fans, you suck. I'm yeah. just playing. I just <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's just kind of boring. Man. It is. You know I mean? It is. Seeing them go every year. It's like, I can was, we get something new? Yeah, right. exactly. I was betting on uh, the Rockets. Yeah, to, me too. To get it done this year, but unfortunately, they didn't end up happening. But um, as far as who I want to see win, anybody besides that, <laughs> whoever their opponent is, I exactly. want to see them win. I don't want the Warriors to win another one. Um, you know, even though Steve Kerr is. Yeah, shout, from, out Steve. is uh, shout out Steve. Shout out Steve one time. Yeah, you know, playing for U of A. And Iguodala. Oh, and Iggy. Yeah, sure. gotta show love to Iggy. Um, always love to them, but 
the team, I just... Nah, nah, nah. Super teams, man. We got to stop yeah, doing yeah. that. <laughs> Hopefully KD leaves after this Honestly, season, Honestly. Yeah, I want to see him go to New York. That's my team right there. Something. Anything, <laughs> anything to take some of their power. Away. Yeah. So <laughs> what's, your, what's your team? Uh, Miami Heat. Miami Heat? Okay. Yes. And before anybody gets on my head about, you know, the whole LeBron situation, I yeah. was a fan before that. Uh, Dwayne Wade <laughs> was my favorite player. Yeah, yeah. Um, I became a fan of Dwayne Wade and then the team because of him. Of course. Uh, watching the 05, 06 run out. Okay. I think it was with Shaq when yep. they won the first one. Exactly. Um, I was like five was, year olds. I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that was really when like he just like amazed me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he literally could put the team on his back. He literally did though. That was crazy. So, you know, that's when I really became a fan. But it's kind of rough right now. Um, especially seeing my boy retired. I know, I was about to ask you about it was, that. It was That's super devastating. Emotional. I'm so yeah. sad. <laughs> I took it like a personal loss. So yeah, honestly. Like, like my family <laughs> too. <laughs> I seen the, uh, like just his announcement before the, the season even started. Yeah. I was a wreck, bro. You are a wreck? Uh, yeah. I just felt like somebody was just like leaving my family forever. I was like, it's sad. But you know, hell of a career. So oh yeah, definitely. Was, it was good and bittersweet, I guess yeah, you could say. Of course. But yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, man. So what are top five people that are alive that you can have dinner with? Hmm. That's a tough one. Um I asked this question to make people think. Yeah, I gotta right, I gotta think on that for a minute. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, take your time, man. This is a tough question. Yeah. I asked people this question and I asked the follow up like okay, we get back to that. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Obviously, uh there's a lot of people in music that I want to, but there's a lot of people outside of music that I want to talk to also. Um, I'd probably want to talk to either Basquiat. Okay, Tom Basquiat, Michelle, Basquiat yeah. Or um, who else? Would it be? Warhol, probably Andy Warhol. That's dope. Just because, um, you know, outside of the music, like I fuck with the fashion, they had a heavy influence yep. on fashion as well, like from just based off their art. Mm -hmm. um, and you know Warhol did like all kinds of stuff for like Campbell's soup. Yep. Like that's something that I want to do eventually too. You know, More besides music, music is yep. just like do create, different create, avenues. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just that's creativity. Cool. So I really respect both of them for that. So I could have both of them at a dinner. Oh, you got five. Let's go. We got, we oh, got yeah, three yeah. more. We got okay, three more. that's right. Five, top five. My bad. Yeah, Basquiat. So them two. Andy Warhol. Um, I'd want to talk to Tupac. Obviously, well, you have to have. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, definitely Tupac. Um, let's see. I'd want to talk to. Hmm. Who else would I want to talk to? It's really hard. <laughs> um, we could talk to Biggie. Biggie. Also, okay. Yeah, That'd be sick. Because you know, him and Pac were coming up around yep. the same time, so I'd like to see how that was especially they you know kind of created hip-hop or not created hip-hop but like uh really took it to that yeah. next level I um, agree. it became like such a huge thing so Definitely. i want to talk to him about that so that's four we got four yep uh, one more. <laughs> let's see um honestly i want to talk to uh I'll to my nana again. Like, not to get too sensitive. Yeah, hey, not at all. Um, but yeah, like, just, it was a heavy loss. Like, yeah. you know, she was really, uh, really somebody that like, I had a bond with. Yeah. So, you know, just to talk to her again That'd be, be sick. would definitely be something. Uh, was she uh, influential in your life? I mean, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, she just really taught me, like, how to be uh, good to people at the end of yeah. the day. It's like the biggest thing that exactly. she was always looking out for people. So, um, so you know, I try to try to do that as much as I can. You know, obviously there's some people that test your patience, but of course, yeah, yeah, you, gotta, you know how those people. Know, you gotta have love for people. Um, you know, hopefully they reciprocate it to somebody else. So yeah, that's something that really stuck with me. That's I dope, man. That's real dope. So hey, you want to shout out your channels and all that where they can find you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, all that good stuff at Rick Tensai. That's R I C K T N S I uh, S A I. My. <laughs> You know, no spaces, no special characters, none of that. I'll be in the description um, below, you know that. Yeah, yeah. So, links, links there, all yeah, that. For sure. Um, 
You can search the same thing on Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, Tidal. SoundCloud, SoundCloud, all that stuff. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's dope. Really that's real sick. Hey, EP coming out soon. Definitely. Be on the lookout for that. New yeah. project, new visuals, you know, I'm merch coming up, soon. So we can single There you go. All that good stuff, man. Yeah. So, and I'm blowing yep. up like I said I would. <laughs>